hello guys and welcome to a brand new video so today i'm here with a trailer reaction this is much of tensei jobless reincarnation season 2 official trailer number two i'm going to react to this and um it is uh, like mushoku tensei is an anime that i reacted to previously the first season uh, on my channel and it was a fantastic experience i loved it and i'm really looking forward to more of this and it's going to come very soon next month i think yeah it will start and obviously i'm going to react to season two as well on my channel and if you guys are interested in my season one reactions i'll be linking it down in the description box you can go check it out as well also the video that i'm going to react to in this reaction will also be linked in the description box the original video so yeah let's get started with this reaction this is mushiko tensei uh, season two official trailer uh, the subbed version so i'll be reacting to it and uh, after my reaction i'm going to talk about how the trailer is and you know my impressions on it so yeah let's get started so here we go mushiko tensei trailer start Oh my god, the voice. Oh my god, the voice. And? Wait. This says something about dying. Oh。This seems a lot more serious than season 1. Whoa, th this little dragon girl or whatever. Wow. What? My god, wow, a lot of. Whoa, there's someone who knows about Hitogami in the. Just a sec, this is a lot of things they showed, like, we have to... Okay, just a sec, um... Okay, the first portion was obviously him narrating his story, like, you know, the Drakkun came and killed me, and, you know, what not, I got isekai and, you know, like, he's telling his story, the recap portion, and then we get to see a little bit of, um, you know, them getting out of the ship, and like you know they're asking them about dead uh, dead end the mana calamity they're talking about we can see um uh oh my god i forgot her name what was her name eris wasn't it oh god i why did i forget her name god damn it she was like my my favorite character the red-haired girl just a sec i'm sorry i'm my memory is trash <laughs> I think her name was Eris or something like that. Let me just check. Eris, yeah, thank God. I, yeah, like I did not make a mistake. She was like my favorite character in the show. Okay, uh, Eris. So you can see Eris fighting with, um, uh, what was the guy's name? R Richard, yeah, Richard, that was her, his name. So we can see um, her fighting, not fighting, but training with him. And you know she like we know that she is like you know the physical type of battle character, you know the main. She attacks physically, unlike Rudius, who's like you know, a magical character. So, Richard is training her, and now one thing that they told here was kind of shocking in a way. Not shocking, but. What it says that it also means that people may suddenly die now so people characters are going to die in this next season oh my god 
Okay, like it does seem like something like that is going to happen because we can see Rudius here is quite sad and then Rujert is a lot of things are happening in this trailer. Rujert is telling that we may never meet again and Ares then Okay, another thing big thing that happened is this girl where is that section this girl here this girl i don't know who she is she like has like dragon horns looks like some kind of a demon lord i don't know like you know usually <laughs> characters with this character design are usually demon lords I, I guess she's something like that and we can see that she'll be involved with rudius and she says something like i'll grant your desires or something and uh we can see some new characters here uh, this guy here and this these two oh these two are uh, uh, traveling together now yeah yeah obviously we saw by the end of it that uh, you know they started uh, traveling together to uh, go and find rudy and you know the, the survivors so roxy i'm not sure what, who what name these characters are these two characters uh they're they're i'm guessing paul's friends adventure friends they're traveling together and okay now there's like a fight scene happening here we can see these characters here uh I don't know why, why, but this this guy reminds me of Ghislaine in a way. Is he like somehow related to her or something? Most probably, probably, uh, I don't know, like same family or something. This guy, where, where is he? Where is that section? This guy, yeah, yeah, he he looks like Ghislaine completely. So as I said, he probably must be from the same family or something. and reach it okay whoa so okay one thing that's very apparent here is this season will not be as happy as the previous one i feel like it because it, it seemed like rudius was very stressed out throughout this whole thing that was happening and yeah rudy is as we know rudy is usually not that like you know he kind of like a happy character you know like takes everything like you know what can i say like in a positive way and it's very happy and jolly type of a character so seeing him like this probably means that yeah stuff is going to go down in a bad way now I don't know who's going to die. They kind of said that someone is going to die. So, oh god, like I don't know. And the way, like you know, like, like Rudius was actually narrating that portion when he said that it also means that people die. Uh, no, no, what did he say? Like, yeah, it also means that people may suddenly die. Rudius is narrating that, so it doesn't mean that like you know some character who is barely even involved in the story is going to die since rudius is narrating this this means probably someone who is holds like you know like a special place to rudius is like important to rudius will die that means probably the main supporting characters Lord. Okay. So yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, this season will be a bit I guess serious. Oh, another thing we saw here by the end is that someone is telling him that do you know someone called Hitogami? That means there is someone who is involved you know who is in this world knows about Hitogami. So who knows? 
yeah that was it that was the season two trailer that was a very nice trailer they were, they showed us a lot of things without i don't think they yeah i don't think there's any kind of things that is considered a spoiler here because yeah like i didn't i wasn't able to understand anything else like you know than that was shown in this trailer uh, a few characters were shown here who probably will be important but they have already been shown in the first season so i don't think that count, counts as any kind type of spoilers the only spoiler i can say here that is probably that the the, the kind of implied that someone will die i guess that you can consider as a spoiler but yeah that kind of like you know it kind of freaks me out the the, the you know like i really don't like characters dying in anime you know especially characters who are involved with the main cast i really don't like that kind of leaves, leaves a bad taste so yeah that that's that's the only concern i have but yeah otherwise the show in itself is fantastic i love the first season it was so good like you know the whole isekai thing it has like it it takes everything so like you know nowadays a lot of i've seen a lot of bad isekais which kind of like you know i don't know like doesn't even put much effort to it you know like it's like yeah like this happens this happens we are expected to understand everything they don't even give any explanations but mushoku tensei is definitely not something like that i think mushoku tensei i think like everyone called it like the father of isekai or something <laughs> you know something like that like it's like one of the first isekais so like i think that's the reason why most probably like everything is given so much attention you know like small little stuff uh the whole like you know the, like it, it it seems as if the whole like the place we've been isekai to you know it seems as if we're really living in that place everything that's happening and you know the whole beginning of the story where rudius was a child you know like him looking at uh his parents in his child perspective child point of view and you know he kind of opens his eyes sees his mom and he realizes that okay like you know I, i've become a little baby like starting from there to actually learning the language little by little learning that this is like a completely different place like at first he thought that this was like some other continent or something but then he realized this is like a completely new world and you know learning magic all that stuff and he's not that opmc like at the beginning it kind of felt like he was that opmc you know because uh, with his like uh, incantation less uh, spell casting but then we realized that nah this is just this is not something that he's special like because the other girl um sylphiet self she can also do it after she learned it from rudius so she's not he's not any special isekai mc with some op powers he's just a kid who has a you know kind of like an advantage a little advantage that's just it so yeah and we've seen him getting like you know beaten very badly and we we've, we've seen a lot of characters who's like uh, what can i say like so much better than him like so much uh more stronger than him like gilane for example and some other characters as well so he's not that opmc who starts like you know like who's like the ultimate <laughs> ultimate strongest character as soon as he got into cat he's not that character and yeah he's, he's just a normal kid with a little advantage that's just it so you no know, it 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 gives so much like so many things such intricate details and such care and what can i say attention that yeah it really feels like like this is an isekai this is a completely new world and we're getting to see so many things alongside rudy so yeah it's great i i really love the first season and i i'm sure the second season will be oh the animation i forgot to mention about the animation as well it is beautiful the animation fantastic just like what else like you know like this show in itself was such a good show and yeah i'm looking forward to some more more mushoku tensei so the next season very soon i'm also going to react to it so yeah so that's it guys this was my reaction to the trailer mushoku tensei uh, season 2 official trailer so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed 
comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys with another uh video so uh trailer video i'm, I'm sure i'll make, do more trailer videos in the future so see you guys then so until then goodbye and have a nice day